if Texas doesn't work out for you, there's a city called uh, New York City and the mayor de Blasio pushing forward with legalized heroin oh, injection God. sites for New York City. <laughs> this is not a Babylon Bee story. This is not an onion. This is a real story. De Blasio pushing forward with legalized heroin injection sites for New York City. This is a post millennial story. When, when is de Blasio's last day in office? He's got a couple months left. Anybody? Hey, Tyler, can you pull up the story so people can see it? Ugh. As cities across the U.S. reject legalized heroin injection sites and needle exchanges, Mayor de Blasio is planning to resurrect a long-delayed plan to open uh, supervised heroin injection sites in New York City, even as the Big Apple uh, uh, gr- uh, grapples with a massive surge in overdose deaths and open air drug use on city streets in the middle of the day. De Blasio has called the uh, shooting galleries an idea whose time has come and said he was moving forward with the controversial proposal because he had the kind of potential cooperation he needed from President Biden and Governor K- Kathy Hochul, which, by the way, t- 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 Biden and Kathy probably don't want that endorsement. If they're getting it and it's real, it's not a good look for them either. Earlier this month, Hochul signed a law discrim- uh, decrim- decriminalizing the possession or sale of hypodermic needles and syringes. The new law led to New York uh, NYPD issuing a directive allowing ad- uh, addicts to shoot up in public. What the, this, this, Wild. what the hell is this? It's so incomprehensible. What the hell is this all about? Like, who, have you lost your mind? Like, so here's what I'm wondering. What does this do? So, so does a mother say, what, you know what, babe? Gra- let's move to New York City. And let's take the kids over there. Especially if you're not, to begin with, concerned about homelessness, safety, Violence, crime, and then this is the. Icing How would you on the like cake? to have a business that was in a block or two of that area where you can shoot up? But I, I'm, I'm honestly, I don't think these people are I, dumb. I, They're I, not I idiots. What is your I'm outcome of doing that? Can we play devil's advocate, everybody? Give me one reason why you would do this. Okay, devil's advocate. If, if don't I have fight to, against no, it. No, no, devil's if advocate. If I have to jump into his brain yeah. and try to figure out be, to to keep an area where if you're gonna be a heroin addict, we're gonna offer you a safe place to do it. And you can come here, and it's not illegal, and you're going to do it anyway. So we're going to get you away from the suburbs or away from downtown or away from Times Square. And then you come over here in the meatpacking district and shoot up. I, I don't understand this. So, Kai. No, no. We're, 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 about, to, we're about to learn about Mr. de Blasio. The, I, I, published, I published this. Seven. T- bottom of, one more time. One more time. Okay. What you're looking right there. At, at right there, Changing right? death rate from 20, 2009 to We have an epidemic. We have an epidemic of youth death in this country, and he wants to do something like that. Uh, what, what is it for? Is that drug overdose, or what is that? It's drug overdoses. It's suicide. It's, it's something laced with fentanyl. Wait, wait, wait. Go back to this. I'm trying to understand what this is. Go back to this. I didn't see the data. Just go back. Tyler, just swipe. There you go. That's Okay, good. so it's the, it's the one on the bottom. It's bottom of page seven. Here we Kai go. to the rescue. Wow. This is exactly <laughs> the moment for Kai. Emergency. Kai's loving it. Because Break he, glass. He, he's, uh, he's seen as a hero right now. <laughs> this is what you call the Hegelian dialectic. You set somebody up for failure. <laughs> they fail. You Kai. come in as the hero. <laughs> Let me show you how it's done. <laughs> he's reading too much of 40 Laws of Power. <clears throat> Kai, do you want me to redrop it? Yeah, just redrop it. Okay, wait. How did you do that, though? Okay, while they're doing that, while they're doing that, let me go back to the story. You were saying, so the only reason, David, you're somebody that's, how do you process this yourself? Yeah, I agree with Tom. It's somewhere, if we want to play devil's advocate, you could say, yeah, it's somewhere where you can do it away from all the suburbs and just kind of do it in your own safe little corner. Here's a safe haven to do heroin. How's how's that working out in Los Angeles? Or it's someone, if you want to wean off of heroin and you can want to microdose it and kind of slowly fade to black, then you could justify that Do heroin addicts vote? I mean, I can't even believe they're going out of the way to do this. Boy, whoever replaces de Blasio. heroin addicts vote? Yeah. Right. So we're looking at the change. We're looking at the change in the death rate. If there's any way to zoom in on that one chart, so you're looking at the bottom of the chart is one to four years old, five to nine years old. Over there, you see wow. people are living longer, eighty to eighty-four, close. seventy-five to seventy-nine. That means negative means that they're living longer, that their life expectancy can be considered to be longer. And then you get twenty to twenty-four, twenty-five to twenty, thirty to thirty-four. Oh my God. 35 to 39. 28 percent change in death rate. Yes, between 2019, 2009, 2020 and 2019. Or 2021. 
It's probably going to be worse if you run 20, 20, 20, 21. Well, all these, all these people who've been isolated sure. in, their, in their homes. And every one of those deaths is tragic because you're not dying of some prolonged disease at no, that age. You're, you're, you're at the prime of your life. This is when you're young. And, and by, by look at the other data right there. Percentage of 20 to 39 year olds living at home as reported. 18, and 1980 and was 15%. It's just going to continue to go up. 1991 to 74. And then it was a drop off in 2000. Then we went up to 20.3. Then 23.7%. 20, in 2020. And it's estimated to be going up to 25%, 24.9%. By 2030. Because socialism's good for America, right? Teaching people how to go out, be independent, work on their own, make their own household, get out of their parents' basement, and look what direction we're going in. That's too much. So, But, uh, but I'm still trying to understand. Tell me how, why this makes sense to create clinics or places where people can go take heroin. What is the logic behind that? Think, Give me the, the logic only, the behind it. The only thing it. I can think of in that is the sense logic? is if it's one of those, if they're doing it anyways, let's supervise it to some extent. Or let's try to... Well, and that's his rationale. Let's try to gather it all in yeah. one area. Like, instead of it yeah. being scattered around, like, hey, let's just... And let's kind of, like, yeah, try I mean, to hide I, it over I, I, and I've cover it up. I've taken six trips to New York, and it is... I mean, you can turn the corner and be like, whoa. Really? That's what I was wondering, is how different does it feel? And does oh, it seem... Oh, I mean... You know, I, I, I have been gravitating towards downtown, downtown, downtown. Like, the closer I get to the Freedom Tower, the more of a police presence I feel, the safer, safer I feel. I, I mean, I was always a Midtown person, but Midtown kind of freaks me out. Wow. boy, that's... David, we can hear you, David. Yeah. You know, the only thing I would say is back in the late 80s, New York was a mess, too. And then one that's strong... That's what it feels like. Yeah, one strong mayor can change things. But I don't know if they're capable of bringing anyone in to replace de Blasio that could be better. Well, Anas just gave on Super Chat. Anas is from New York. He said, I'm a New Yorker and it's bad. I want to give my take. They are even letting illegals vote and they are forcing the vaccine on students and city jobs. I mean, that's just New York for you right now. So what does this do? Okay. You know how they say, don't turn my oh, Texas way, into California? Perspective, New York City is 8% of US GDP. New York City. Eight. Not wow. the state. Sorry, I'm sorry. It, sorry, it's, I'm sorry. New York State is oh, okay. 8% of you. But Got still... It. What is it? Nine, ninety percent is yeah. the is the city. I mean, it's all about the finance yeah. sector, right? Yeah, insane to think about that. But interestingly enough, though, if they're losing a lot of that, how much is that going to go down? That's that's what I mean. I just With, said J.P. For, Morgan for Chase Florida, has more employees in Texas, Texas than they do in New York. Yeah, but you, you, I'm telling you, in, in Texas, you've seen this before. Don't California my Texas, it, right? Uh, hell, yeah. or in it's Florida, a, they the say best bumper everywhere. Sticker, don't bring, everywhere. Don't bring your politics yeah, down don't here. Don't New yeah. York my Florida. You hear that all the time. It's a bumper right? sticker. So then the question becomes: Who are the people that are leaving New York and California? Okay. Or if this they're just bringing the same mentality mindset and ideology. But no, but again, remember what I said, that I'm starting to hear from, from transplanted Californians CRT that they're, uh, the... they're upset about, uh, yeah. about critical race theory. So I don't think it's just liberals leaving. I think it might just be rational people who don't want to pay huge taxes and, and support things like, I don't know, heroin sites. It, it makes uh, uh, zero sense to me. So if you enjoyed this little short segment from the podcast that we did, here's another short segment to watch. Or if you want to see the entire podcast, click over here. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.